should know about music distribution. Music distribution is the connection and process into your fan base and future fans' ears and hands. Distribution is a big part of promoting your music. It used to be brick and mortar stores were the only way for record labels and independent artists to reach their listeners and fans with their records and albums. But in 2015, for the first time, digital distribution sales had surpassed the physical medium sales and continue to still to this day. As a band, musician, or artist, digital distribution is a must in order to reach your supporters, fans, and potential fans. There's a great quote, work smarter, not harder, because smart distribution can increase your visibility, get your music into more listeners' hands, and get you paid for your music. Let's first start by defining what music distribution is. Music distribution is how your music gets delivered to your listeners. It used to be where distributors and record labels would enter agreements to sell artists' music in brick and mortar stores. This would make the distributor a middleman, which gave them a cut of the album or record sales. This type of distribution, we can call it physical distribution, was also and still is a very difficult way to sell your music. It's often only major or signed artists who get the shelf space in major retail stores. A lot of time you may also have to sign an exclusivity deal, which can prevent you from selling your music in other stores. Physical distribution can often take weeks or months due to the printing and manufacturing process to get the inventory of CDs or records into the stores. With the advancement of technology, online retailers and shops, music has become one of those commodities to transition into the digital realm. What is digital distribution? Digital distribution is the process of making your tracks and albums available online through online retailers such as iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, as well as streaming platforms such as Spotify, Pandora, Tidal, and Apple Music. Digital distribution has the same goal as physical distribution where it is getting your music heard in exchange for royalties and money. There's no longer a physical exchange of fan or listeners receiving a CD or vinyl record. It goes straight to the device or devices they use to listen to the music they purchase or stream. These digital services are the new versions of record stores. And again, this eliminates weeks, even months, for artists to release their music, making it cheaper, faster, and more accessible. What are the benefits of digital distribution? Well, it's cheaper, faster, and more accessible, but also it sells the best, and it will continue that trend for the foreseeable future. The music industry as a whole is making it clear that it is the best way to go for distributing your music. It makes it extremely easy for small artists to build a fan base for their music in many different markets. Most of these listeners and fans are hanging out online, so having your music available there will give you more of a chance of reaching them. Think how only major artists were able to get into brick and mortar stores. Now that digital distribution is available, it gives all of the smaller artists that much more opportunity. One of the big benefits of this is digital distributors don't have any exclusivity deals, which means you don't have to give up rights to your music. Digital distribution makes it much easier for you to see statistics with your music, which in turn can help you plan for future releases. Also a huge benefit is it creates algorithms which help you by suggesting to listeners your tracks depending on what they listen to. That is huge with how people find new music in the digital world. But as much as those benefits sound awesome, let's see what the cons to digital distribution are. To start, it makes everyone under the sun able to release music and can saturate the digital services with abundant amounts of music. This in turn creates a lower barrier of entry into the music marketplace. And this creates a thicker amount of competition. The payouts or profits aren't nearly as big as many artists hope, and it can be difficult sustaining a living by just releasing your music on digital distribution platforms. These next few years are truly going to show just how much artists will fight for those payouts to be bigger. I think we can all agree, no matter what, people still do like to buy a CD or vinyl record of a band they truly love. This isn't to say you shouldn't still print albums, to sell at shows or even on your online store. In fact, I do think those are important to still have. I just think they're becoming less and less common. Let me just clarify too, that this is a brief and extremely simple sum up of music distribution. There's so many details and a lot of information when it comes to this, and you should do your research on how you want to distribute your music. But for now, I hope you took something useful out of this. Please follow, like, subscribe, and share if you did. Always remember, don't do music just for the money. Do it because you love it. Stay safe. The Music Man out.